Let's talk about catamenial pneumothorax, hemopneumothorax, and catamenial hemoptysis. I realized I had this disease when I was a baby. I've been told many times how I almost died as a child. Small baby, sent home from the hospital, not expected to make it. But prayer, gave me my destiny to be a help to the nation. So I wrote a book to enlighten the nation about lung endometriosis. And now it's time to talk about it. Hello, I'm Dr. Glennis D. Wallace, author of Living with Lung and Colon Endometriosis, Academy of Pneumothorax. I wanted to give you some updates on catamenial pneumothorax. Statistics reveal that it accounts for a third of all pneumothoraces in women. Let's review a few definitions. Catamenial pneumothorax. When endometriosis attaches to the lung, between the lining and the lung actually, releases fluid, air moves in, through in the diaphragm, by an unknown mechanism causing the lung to collapse. There's also catamenial hemopneumothorax, and fluid is present in that case, also collapses. But there's catamenial hemoptysis. Many have been writing me, telling me that every month they cough up a cup of blood. Endometriosis lodges in the tracheobronchial tree. Endometriosis in the chest is under-recognized and under-diagnosed. Great things are being revealed. Stay tuned for more updates.